Hello guys, my name is Amin and I'm here for another Arch Expert lesson. Today I'm gonna talk about TTO and view model. You may have heard them before but you have no idea what's the difference between them or why we are using them. If you wanna be an Arch Expert, you must know the difference. So let's go to see what's the difference. First of all, TTO and view model are both objects in the patterns that we are using to carry data between parts of our applications. They both serve the similar purposes, but they have some main difference between them. First of all, we're gonna look at DTO. DTO stands for Data Transform Object. It's an object that carries data between two processes in your application. So what's the point of using DTO? When you have a backend and front end, to carry data between these two applications, you can use DTO. It's one of the best things that you can use for carrying data. Consider that contract that stands between your client and backend so uh, when your backend entities change your front end has no idea that need to update need to change and implement those changes so next things that we're going to talk about is carry data between two process for example process a calculate some stuff and gonna pass it to other process you can use dto for that view model the view model class is a screen level state holder. It exposes the state of UI and encapsulates related business logic. This means that your view or page doesn't deal with business and view model handles those businesses. View model represents the data that you want to display on your view or page, whether it's been used. What's the main difference between them? First of all, the view model contains view logic for example if you have view logic you can put it on view model but this you just carries data next view model is on the presentation layer on your application but DTO is on the server abstraction or application service some of the, your guys might know service abstraction as contracts next view model mostly usage is on a client app but DTO usage is on both so you can carry data between server and client so you can use it on the both side okay here i am on a visual studio i have a backend project with onion arch so if you have no idea what onion arch is or you are interested about domain centric architecture or other software architecture i suggest you to check the videos on arch expert playlist i'm recording many videos for architecture so you may want to check it out. Okay, let's go to the DTO on the real projects. As I said before, I'm gonna put my DTOs on my contracts. Some of you may call it service abstraction or you're go just gonna put it on application service. That's okay, but I'm gonna call it contracts. So I'm going to contracts project. I have a feature named to do task and I have my query models in there. So I'm using my DTOs in my query models. I have two kind of DTOs on here input and output input is when i'm getting a re request i filter data with that interface which is input dto so if you are using it cqrs you can implement your input dto to your query model to filter the response okay and i have output which is my response to a client which I have a properties that I want to transform the data. Okay, that's about DTO and let's go to the view model. I have a Blazor application right here. You can use view model on client applications such as WPF, MyUA or even ASP.score. Let's check it out. As I said before, I'm going to put my view model on my presentation project, which is this Blazor application right here. And I have a view models folder right here which I put all of my view model here and I have a fetch data view model right here look at it it's inheritance from base view model base view model is my base view model behavior it's an abstract class that my view model inherited from that which gives them view model base behaviors such as is busy or uninitialized async so view model helps me to separate my presentation logic or my view logic from my view and give me ability to easier test for my view models and my presentation logic and it helps my view to won't be dependent on my presentation logic i can handle this on view model and 
change my view easily. So look at this page right here. I have a weather's fetch data page right here. I inject my view model here and, and I invoked my presentation logic here. It helps your view doesn't be dependent on any presentation logic and you have no idea what's happening and your view model is what handling that. So as I said before, I have my details on both client and backend project, but your V model can be used on your client application. That's all I have for you today. I hope that this video was helpful and share this video and don't forget about like and subscription. Leave a comment.